In this video I'm going to be exploring a potential thrust missing in Aikido. Now I realise this might divide opinions, however I thought it would be a good topic to discuss, so please bear with me to the end of the video so you hear out my thought process. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into it. So when we talk about thrusting there could be so many different variables. We could be thrusting behind, at different angles, or utilising the length of the jaw, similar to how you might see in other martial arts. However, that's not what we're talking about in this video. Regardless of Aikido style, there are only three hand placements that are utilised for a thrust. So to understand what the potential fourth option is, we first need to look at the existing three. The first is the most common type of thrust, with both thumbs pointing towards the thrusting end. Whether it's low, middle or high, the same rule applies. These thrusts tend to be most common and transition easily into strikes given hand positioning. The second type is typically a high thrust, with both thumbs pointing away from the thrusting end. This thrust can also be done behind and transition easily into the first thrust I showed you previously. The third type is practiced where both thumbs are pointing inwards. Due to the symmetry of the grip, this thrust transitions easily from side to side and front to back. It is however one of the least used thrusts, and that's probably down to less options to transition into other movements. So this leads us to the fourth potential type of thrust. We've looked at thumbs pointing forwards. We've looked at thumbs pointing backwards. And we've also looked at thumbs pointing inwards. However, we haven't looked at thumbs pointing outwards. Now I know what some of you will be thinking, that looks awkward, how can you possibly thrust from there? Well, if you take the front hand and utilise it in the same sort of way as the first thrust, and you take the back hand and use it in the same sort of way as the second thrust, you end up with a thrust that could potentially work. Some of you might be thinking, well, is this viable? Can it transition into other movements? Well, I'll address that in the next video. Until then, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this has got any potential? And is there any specific reasons why it shouldn't be practiced? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, until then, take care and I'll see you soon.